Today, I want to show you my Stetson cowboy hat. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just bought myself my very first Stetson cowboy hat. Now you might be saying, Pete, why would you buy a cowboy hat? As far as I can tell, you ain't no cowboy. Well, let me tell you. First of all, it's going to start with a short story. I was down in Fort Worth, Texas many years ago with some friends of mine. One of my buddies said, hey, you know what? We should buy some cowboy hats. It would just be a fun memento of our trip. So we went into a store to buy some, and I will tell you what, my mind was blown at how expensive cowboy hats are, particularly Stetsons, which is kind of the name that you know in the cowboy hat world. And not blown away like three, four, five hundred dollars I'm talking about like two, three thousand dollars for a cowboy hat. I bet you didn't know that they were that expensive maybe you did if you knew that you're a little more familiar with great western americana than i am now it's actually funny because i've always wanted one especially because some of my family members were actually cattlemen back in the day so i remember as a kid being out on the ranch and watching the cowboys work on the ranches with the cattle that would end up going to the slaughterhouses to feed us later on in that fall so that was a lot of fun and they always had stetsons that was the only brand that i ever saw and knew but i'm sure there are other cowboy hats i actually bought this one because i thought hey it's about time that i picked up my hat because actually when I was reading and doing a little research on cowboy hats, they are really useful. Yes, this Stetson iconography here is very famous. It's the cowboy giving his horse a drink of water from his cowboy hat. And what I didn't realize here is that cowboy hats are super durable. You can actually pass them on if you take good care of them. They are actually usually made of beaver fur in a felt. And actually the manufacturing process is amazing. And to me, what's crazy is that you can make this felt to last that it won't deteriorate over time. And if you take care of it, it should last you a really long time. And they're waterproof, they keep off the sun. Obviously there are a lot of different styles. So I picked up this one. Now, one of the things that I did is I measured my head because I wanted something that would hopefully fit because I have this giant oversized head. And I also wanted a style which I kind of dug. And it's been a while since I ordered this because some places stock hats, some places don't. And so ordering one can be a little bit tricky if you don't have a store locally to go just pick one up. So here is my hat. Now I chose everything about this. This from the color to the style and I'm really excited Ooh, it smells nice even the box is pretty cool they definitely put some effort into making sure that your hat doesn't get collapsed when it comes to you now here it is in the plastic it's my first time seeing it and ooh, got the paper in here we get a little Stetson book tells me how to take care of this over the long term and we get that Stetson picture right inside there we have Kind of feels like a silk or nylon lining. I think this band right here is leather and you can see there it says Stetson. Now what's really interesting about this is you can see it says six X's. Now that was intentional. It says 100% pure fur felt. Now that was important to me to get the six X's. Now the X rating on hat fur content is not necessarily consistent between every hat manufacturer. Now there are 10 X's. They get more expensive the higher end you go, but I've seen some hats with like 20 X and obviously you can't have 200% fur, but it seems to me going up to a 6x as opposed to a 3x meant that there'd be more I think beaver fur, it would be a little thicker, it'd be a little more durable. So I thought, hey, in the long run, I'm probably best off going with that. You can see here now, this little band will help absorb and protect the hat from soaking up all your sweat. There is also, let's also see here that I'm a seven and a half, so that's what it says right back there. There's this little bow, and that goes in the back of your head here. So that will save you hopefully from being embarrassed and wearing your hat backwards. I have seen it mentioned happening to country singers a lot when they are in interviews and they don't even realize their hat is on backwards, but real cowboys notice it. So what they have in here is a little sticker and this is actually all the information of what I ordered. So it's a 49 granite gray, which I was actually pretty excited about. It's oval R. There's actually an oval and a round, I think. And so despite the fact that I didn't go get fitted for this, I'm just hoping the oval works. Although my guess is that my head is more round than oval. And here is the top. Now, the other thing that you can see here is that this little band that goes around here, these can be fabric or leather. This has like some metal jewelry on it. But on this side right here, we have this metal band that says Stetson. Now, it's my understanding that the ribbon or the loop or the closure there will always go on the left side of your head, port side for you sailors. So you have two ways of making sure that the hat is on correctly because otherwise it looks pretty similar. Now, I would also say that the other telltale sign here is that the curved part, the curved sides of the hat kind of taper here so that the skinny end is in the front and the wide end is in the back here. Now, the other thing that I've seen is instruction on how to put these on and most people grab it up here. Now, I have also seen hats that are just perfectly curved, kind of look like bowler hats, but I wanted it with the little pinched end here so that I could grab it and put it on. Now, let's see how this sucker fits. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 
All right, my big head. And you want to make sure it's on there good because if you are out on a horse or out in the wind, you don't want this thing flying away, especially after you spend a couple bucks on it. But look at this. It's kind of like a bucket hat. It's going to give me protection all around the sides on my ears and my neck. Keep me from getting sunburned. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice to have a hat. I tell you what, this is a lot firmer than I thought it was going to be because I expected like this felt to be pretty soft. Now, I know you can steam these up, heat them up, and then you can actually mold them a little bit and maybe reshape them too if they get a little beat up but this one looks pretty good the way it is and i like this dark color that's pretty cool you know i don't know what it is about this hat but just putting it on makes me feel a little bit more like a cowboy hey if you want to pick up a stetson for you for your outdoor activities whether you're a cowboy or not i think you're gonna like it i'll put a link to it in the description below peter von panda ah. we can discover more and explore so much deeper